What is up everybody? Welcome to Gadget Labs. In today's video, we're going to show you how to create this awesome LED bar all by yourself. And let me tell you something, this video doesn't do it justice. All right, so the first step is going to be to know the measurement of your bar. The one that we're doing here is a 360 bar, but I'm just going to show you one part. So you have to know the measurements of your acrylic, which is usually comes in 240 by 120 meters. Number two, you have to know for the measurement for your aluminum angle. And then number three as well, how much lead you're going to use. In this one, we only have lead on the top and on the bottom. But obviously, if you have a smaller bar, then it would have to be around the edges as well. So now I'm going to show you exactly what we did to get that effect. So what we have here is the first part is going to be putting the lead strip. Now, this one is an exterior one. So we use a way better LED strip. And this one actually doesn't come with any sticky on the bottom. So you have to use the staples to hold this down. If it's on the interior, then you could just use your regular lead strip. Usually comes with glue on the bottom. So again, what I'm going to show you here is going to be the same thing, but on the top. So first you have your lead strip, you put this one and again, with whatever you hold it down again, here we use staples. And then to get a really, really cool effect, you want at least 10 centimeters apart from your aluminum bracket here, because if it's too close, if the acrylic is too close then you'll see the dots of the lead. So you want to just a little bit further away to get that nice effect. So 10 centimeters here. And then once you have your aluminum bracket here, what you're going to do is, I mean, I said, this though. So what you're going to do is first you're going to make holes in your aluminum, usually about 30 centimeters apart. You're really not going to be holding something that rough, but at least 30 centimeters. With your drill bit, you're going to use the, you're going to put the hole in here. And then obviously, depending on what floor you have, whether it's wooden, whether it's cement, then you're going to change the drill bit to the cement. In this case, it's cement. So you put the hole on the ground and then you put this one on the top, mark it and then you put your screw in here. And it's really, I mean, that simple. Obviously, again, this one's cement, but it really depends on what kind of surface you have on what you're going to use to hold this one down. But it's basically just your aluminum bracket. You put the hole, you put the screw, and that one basically holds it down. So now we're just going to replicate the same thing, but on the top. This one, again, you have your LED strip. And if you're on the inside, if you use the cheaper ones, and you can just uh, stick it to the top again you can put staples but just remember to make sure that they're aiming downwards and the one on the bottom are aiming upwards if they're a little bit movie then you'll obviously lose a lot of the light something that i do recommend as well is make sure that your wall is white if you have something white then the light will reflect better and it'll be a lot better visual when you put the acrylic same thing here you want 10 centimeters apart you put your aluminum bracket and you hold it down again, depending on what you have and what kind of material you have, but you just really want to hold it down with screws. And again, 30 centimeters apart, each screw is going to be perfect for that. So before we show the acrylic part, I did forget something, how you give power. Now this one, like I said, it's going to be for a bar, for a restaurant. So the power, we took this one off the lead and then we separated them directly into the power. Now, in case if you want to do this in your house, you could just do a hole here at the bottom and then pass the lead cable on the inside. So, so follow me over here. So in theory, if the front part was your bar with the lead on the back part, the hole would come out here. And obviously if you have an outlet, then this one would go directly into the outlet. Again, that's more if you wanted to do in your house, but this one is again, we're in a restaurant. So that's why we took this one off. Now let's go into the acrylic part. All right, so now for the acrylic, what you want to use is this one, which is a polyurethane sealant. Um, I guess that's, that's the definition that I got a translator. Again, we're in Mexico, that's the translator that we got. You want to make sure it's the color white, so it goes with your bar, where obviously if you want a different color, then change it. But this one's going to do just fine to stick this one. Now, a few things you want to know about your acrylic. You can get it in different sizes. This one is nine millimeters. And again, because it's for a bar, if you want people are kicking it or anything like that, this one's going to be really, really resistant. I mean, this one doesn't really bend that much. If it's for your house, not that many people are going to be kicking it. You could probably use six millimeters and that one's going to do just fine. Again, obviously the thicker it is, the less light is going to go through. So if you have it, you have the six millimeter one, it's going to look even better in your house and it's going to show a lot more light. Again, this is what the 240 by one meter panel looks like. And usually, again, just depending on your bar, you're going to have to do a little bit of cutting and a little bit of modifications, but you always want to leave a little bit of space. Obviously, it doesn't want to, it, does, it can't go exactly fitted in. So now let's show you how to put the panel and how it looks. All right. And just something that you want to do before you start is you want to make sure that you mark until what point um, to put the sealant on. One of these cans will usually get you enough for maybe two plates, 
Again, it depends on how big your bar is, but this is kind of how you put it. All right, so in this case, we do have the border here, so that's why you have to stick it like this. So first the top part and then the bottom part, and yeah, and I put it. I mean, really, it's just pretty much sticking it straight until that top part and kicking it with your feet and you want to make sure that thing holds steady 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 and this is kind of like what it looks like on the inside then after it's done like I said it's pretty simple really not that much work Hard part is here in this part, we actually do have a curb. This is the hard part where you have to actually bend the acrylic. You could definitely melt and bend six millimeter acrylic. And just to do your aluminum one, you have to cut it so you could bend it. That's the only change you'd have to do for if you have a curve and you want to do a curved part of your bar. That's kind of what it looks like on the inside. And then it usually takes about four to five hours for this to dry completely. So you just want to put a stick there or something just to hold that in place. And I'm going to show you the finished product as well. And obviously remember to take the plastic off the acrylic once it comes off, once you're ready. But yeah, let me show you the finished product. And also I forgot to mention, but the back part of it where you have the receiver, you could actually leave that behind the acrylic and the remote will still work. It'll still send signal through the acrylic. So you can actually have that all hidden there, um, back there behind the acrylic, and you'll have no issues with the remote passing the signal through that. So it's nice and clean, nice and aesthetic.